If you want some Glock 9 socks and koozies, now's the chance to get them. There's only about seven days left in this campaign. All the profits are going to charity, half to the St. Jude's Children's Research Hospital and the other half to stand up to cancer. So if you want to contribute and get some exclusive merch, the link is down below. And look at this. We already got a zombie coming in. That's because I turned Feral Sense on. It's going to be on all night and all day from now on. So hopefully uh, that means more loot bags for us. Right, lady? She agrees. What's up, everyone? Glock9 here, and welcome back to Trapped Inside. It is the morning of day four. I do have a couple of skill points to spend this morning, and I'd really like to get parkour to level two. Let's put one point in there. And with the other point, I'm going to go into lock picking, and I will tell you why. That's because lock picking also contributes to finding forged ahead books. So to boost your loot odds of finding these books, you can go into advanced engineering and or lock picking. And I always went with advanced engineering because I believe that is a better perk. However, what I didn't realize is advanced engineering also increases the odds of finding trap books and electrician books. So there's like competition there. Because I've already found some electrician and trap books where I really just wanted the Forge Ahead books. So I probably should have went lock picking from day one. I didn't. That was my mistake. I mean, in a normal playthrough, I would still just go advanced engineering because I'm not really in a rush. You know, whereas in this series, I'm kind of in a rush. So I'm going lock picking. Hopefully that will help us find those books a bit faster. Let me finish knocking these steps out and we're going to put in some cobblestone steps. There we go, cobblestone steps. Now, if I can find or craft concrete mix, I'll upgrade him to concrete. I know it's a bit of a design flaw, because if the stairs get destroyed, then the zombies are just left down here, running around aimlessly, attacking the walls and shit, but it's better than me being stuck down here with the zombies running around like crazy. I mean, if the stairs get destroyed, we can always find a way to rebuild them, and then the base will be back active again. We need to build this out further, though, because just this setup right now with one hatch is not going to cut it, I think, for night six. Uh, you know what? I think it's much faster to go up this way. That's pretty much where we left off, up there. Let's put a ladder in over here and make us a little shortcut. Well, that's it on the wood. We'll check on our trees in the courtyard once we're done clearing this POI out and we grab the main stash because we're not far off from doing that. We can definitely get that done this morning. Uh, I left some bodies here in the surgery room that I still need to harvest and I also forgot a couple of chemistry stations here or chemistry sets. Uh, oil shale, coal and nitrate powder. Oil shale and nitrate powder. All right, now let's head out here. This is a little shady area right here. We're gonna try not to fall down. Okay. Now, out here and up there. We've already cleared out the majority of zombies in this area. Now we gotta get through those doors right there. There's two sets of double doors, actually. These are locked, though, but let's have a peek inside. Got a zombie and another dog. All right, let's try and do this quietly. Maybe we can take that dog out without waking it up. I'll knock this trash out so we don't make any noise. Uh, let's turn these ladders back into frames, and we'll put one down right here so we can jump over these spikes quickly if we need to. I mean, we could put frames in the doorway, but I don't have enough wood to upgrade them, so that's really not going to help. We'll just leave this one here so, like I said, we can jump over those spikes quickly if we need to. Let's knock this trash out. I don't want to step on it. Wake everyone up. Okay, so far so good. Oh, there's two dogs. There goes one. Oh, shit. I missed the other one. Uh, let's get over here. 
pick up this frame. Are they gonna come to this door here? Sounds like it. Yep. All right, I don't think the dogs can get under these spikes. I think they're gonna get stuck on them. If not, then we'll just bolt out here. I mean, I think they will, hopefully. If they do, and we can just kill them real quick, all will be right in the universe. Here we go. Yes, one down. Oh, come on, guy, you're fucking my plans up. Uh, time to run. Saw that dog peek us head out. Now oh, watch out, man. Where's the dog? There it is. Okay, dogs are dealt with. We're good. Just trying not to get hit at all, you know? Because if we get infected, that's going to be a real problem. A little more 9mm, that's good. Hearing a bunch of zombies, I believe they are downstairs. I imagine Feral Sense brought a little wandering horde to the hospital, which is good. More zombies to kill. Maybe we should go deal with them before we head to the rooftop. Whoop. Hiding behind the hatch, huh? Little hatch hiding, hard hat wearing bitch. I don't see any zombies, but I definitely hear them. They're in the hospital for sure. Tactical Warfare book and an extended magazine mod, which is a nice mod to find here. Let's put it on the pipe machine gun. Let's make sure our guns are loaded. A little bit of paper. I don't have enough 7.62 to take advantage of that uh, extended magazine, but hopefully we find more soon. I think this is just about it. Pretty sure after this floor is the rooftop. So let's deal with these two, and then I think we should backtrack and deal with the zombies downstairs. Plastic parts and iron. We can get more plastic parts right here. We can get pipes from those pipes and wood from the wood. Who would have thought, right? Oh, give me a wrench. Cloth, whatever. Get a little iron from this dolly. Uh, if we find a wrench, we can take apart that toolbox for a mechanical part. Well, uh, what's behind this door? I don't know. Outside? I think this might be a shortcut to the roof, but I want to know for sure. Yep, that's what it is, with a big fat ammo pile. Oh, that is beautiful. 117 rounds of 7.62. Let's load this thing to the brim. I think there are zombies out here, no? Birds or some shit? Those steps go up to the rooftop, which I don't want to do just yet. Let's harvest this guy. We skipped this entire area. We skipped the whole floor. Uh-oh. Eh, let's take him out. Oh! Okay, let's go this way. Oh, where were all these fuckers hiding? No, well, they didn't come out of there. I don't know, who cares? Whoops! See you, Kenny! Oh, bye, construction worker guy. You gonna fall down there too, hazmat man? No? I, as long as I don't fall down there, I don't care. Alright. Well, they'll find their way up here. Alright, let's do floor seven. And then we'll backtrack and take care of the zombies throughout the hospital. Ooh, more plant fiber. That's good. 
Should probably put some storage down up here, too. Don't want to be uh, encumbered taking on the rooftop. We got some trash up here. Oh, a couple corn seeds. All right. We'll go uh, make some farm plots. Plant those. We got to check on our crops, too. They're probably done growing. Hey, little buddy. Finally found your way up here. Oh, the spikes got you. Hey, big mama. Oh, finally, a loot bag. Feral sense is paying off. Come here, Kenny. Couple skill points to spend. Uh, okay, better shovel. Food, arrows, first aid. Not gonna complain about that. Got some trash that I missed right here. These zombies are dying on the spikes. Missing out on some XP, but if they were gonna drop loot bags, they're gonna drop them either way, whether they die from me or the spikes. Uh, duct tape. It's not bad. Alrighty. Let's do the roof. Like to at least get sneak damage on one of these zombies, you know? See what we're dealing with. Oh, shit. Well, that's not gonna happen. There's a dog, that's for sure. And there's a bird. I'm gonna put a frame in this doorway. Cobblestone frame. Yeah. That'll be good. They're gonna come to this door. Look at this. Oh, no, no. Yeah, fuck you, dog. There's another one. Uh, let's get the dead one out of the way. Yes! Dogs are dead. And you know what? I know this is gonna take away from my XP, but I don't care. Let's get this cop to blow up. Because there's a bunch of zombies out there. Let him fucking kill some of them. Oh, hell yeah. Damn, there's still a lot left. I don't have any cobblestone to repair this block, unfortunately. Oh, shit! No, what the fuck? How'd you get in here, you piece of shit? Oh, no, I'm infected! Damn it! No, that's not good. Oh, that's not good either. No! Uh. Alright, uh, oh, well... I guess the, uh, spider zombie got here the same way the soldier did. Probably dropped down and then came up the stairs. I don't know. Oh, man, that sucks. I have no way to clear up this infection. Ooh, all in one. Oh, no. The one thing I was fearing is now a reality. Oh, catch you later, Bill and Ted. You know, I have found a lot of those medical books. I don't know how many more I need to find to unlock the antibiotics recipe, but hopefully it's not too many. Oh, really? There's another dog? Where? You shit! There it is. All right, there is nothing up here. That's locked. Nothing in there. Let's hop on down to the loot room. Well, I got a couple popping pills, crates, and some medical supplies. Mm, nothing in there that's going to help with this infection. Hopefully, we can get lucky in one of these crates. No antibiotic, but a medical book, which gets us closer to unlocking the recipe for antibiotics. And no help there. Big hitter's book and some pipe bombs. Sounds like big boy's getting close. And make sure he doesn't drop down on my head. Let's pop this open.
All right, we got three skill points to spend. Let's go ahead and get parkour to level two. Oh, we got to go agility again. We still got enough points to do this. I know, to some of you, that might seem crazy with so many other important perks, but... Oh, parkour level two. Now we can jump two blocks high. That has saved my life more than I can count, so... I think that was worth it. Big fat ammo pile. Nice. 4762, that's always a good thing. We got a wall safe here, and we have a hardened chest, which is going to take a long time to beat into, but I think we should take the time to do that, because I think our chances of finding antibiotics are much higher in the hardened chest than they are in the wall safe. Uh, let me just go drop some stuff into storage first. I hope this is going to be worth it. I mean, it's going to be worth it either way, just because there's going to be so much loot in here, but... Oh, come on. Oh, nothing that's going to solve the infection. Dart trap bundle. Silver's useless. Time charges we can use to get into the wall safe, so that's good. Our second forge ahead book. Opened up the Dew Collector, wish I could craft that. Burning Shaft Mod Schematic, Salvage Tool Crafting, five first aid kits, which is nice, a better pipe pistol, weighted head mod, ammo. All good things, just didn't solve our infected problem. Uh, let's read these trap magazines. We got a good amount of darts. I wish I could set up these dart traps. I don't think we're going to be able to get electricity going in here, though. Uh, the silver, might as well just put back in here. Can't do shit with that. Oh, that hardly did any damage. Let's get another one on there. What the hell? Why did that happen? The first one did like 500 points of damage, and the second one blew it off of the wall. That was some bullshit. Oh, it almost destroyed this block. But again, only did like 500 points of damage to the safe. I'm trying it again. I don't feel like beating into that thing. It's gonna destroy it again, isn't it? Oh, son of a bitch. Well, that sucked. Eh, at least our crops are ready to harvest. We can get some corn. And corn seeds, and potatoes, and only one potato seed. We got four corn seeds, though. Let's plant all of that. And then we got to go make another farm plot so we can plant the potato seed. There we go. I would love to cut these trees down for the wood, but if I do that now, I'm only going to get one seed from them, and then I can only plant two more trees. And I'll have to start over. Whereas if I wait for them to get a little bigger, we can get two seeds out of each and plant four trees. So, I'm going to wait. Give me this, and let's craft some more torches. We're going to do an old trick here to try and attract screamers, since Feral Sense isn't as aggressive as I would like it to be. Uh, we can craft eight, but I don't want to use all my animal fat. Let's do five. Four. Yeah. And let's also craft some campfires. I don't have much wood, but... We can put the campfires down and then get wood in there as we get it. Maybe we can make some logs out of this wood here. They'll burn longer. We can make two. Whatever. Uh, but by lighting campfires and putting torches down, that creates heat, which is supposed to attract screamers. So I'm going to put all this shit down by the front door, and hopefully it does what it's supposed to do. Hey, lady, did you bring me a loot bag with some antibiotics? Please tell me you did. Damn it. Rabbit! How you doing, sir? Please, come in. All zombies are welcome. Why don't you go tell your friends about this place? Let's get a log in here. That 
guy had nothing for us. Here's another one, though. We'll see if this, uh... This heat generated by the campfires and torches attracts a screamer or not. Might take a little time. A couple of bones. Another garbage can over here. Yep. And more duct tape. Clay soil. Sure wish I could go loot those cars. I know there's been a lot of people that say the parking lot should be uh, fair game. You know, because it is part of the POI. But, I don't know. I feel like if I go out in the parking lot and start looting cars and shit, uh, too many people are going to feel that's uh, quote-unquote cheating. And I kind of agree with them. You know, it's bad enough I uh, fucking built a catwalk so we can harvest a tree. I, I don't feel that was cheating at all, though. Because we never touched the ground outside of the building. Do you know what I mean? So... Uh, anyway, those are the rules we're going to play by. Uh, now that the building is completely looted, there's not much we can do other than try to attract zombies here. I mean, it, it's at this point where I actually feel good that we set the Horde Knights to every three days. Because if uh, we can't find what we need tomorrow, at least the next day is another Horde. And we'll have a lot of loot bags that we can uh, pick up. Um... Yeah, well, we can make this work. I'm thinking we're going to turn the hallway this way. Yeah. We'll make that work. I need more hatches, of course, before Horde Night. I need more wood to make more hatches. But those trees should be done growing by tomorrow. We'll chop them down and plant some more. Is that a zombie out there? No, that is a shopping cart. I'm officially losing my mind. I mean, there's plenty of resources still that we can harvest. We got to be careful, though. We don't want to be working too hard, because the harder we work, the hungrier we'll get. And we're not really at a point yet where we're sustaining enough food to live. I know I talked about tunneling to other POIs, but that's a future scenario. First, we have to prove that we can survive here long term. Do you know what I mean? I don't want to start tunneling to other POIs on, on day five. That kind of makes this whole series pointless. It's called Trapped Inside. We're supposed to prove first that we can survive here and here only long term. And then if we get bored in the future, maybe we can try tunneling to uh, one of these houses in Dyersville, you know? But as of now, our best bet is if we can... Get a screamer to show up. So I'm going to craft a bunch more campfires. And then once we uh, get the wood from those trees, we'll get them all lit. And that should attract a screamer. And then we'll just keep her alive. Maybe we could trap her somehow. Because if we can keep her alive, she'll keep screaming and she'll keep attracting zombies. And uh, hopefully those zombies will bring us loot bags. Hello? Man. I thought Feral Sense was supposed to be the milkshake that brought all the zombies to my yard. Bullshit. There's one back here, beaten on this block. It's got 5,000 hit points. It's gonna take forever. If they open it up right there, though, I might be able to, uh, get some more plant fiber. Not, I'm not even worried about plant fiber anymore, really. Well, that's kind of useless. That zombie's going to be beating on that block all night. Maybe it'll attract more zombies, though. For now, I'm going to take it easy. Since we are pretty hungry, we actually should eat something. We got options in terms of food. Uh, I don't want to go too crazy with the charred meat, though. Because that makes us thirsty and, uh, you know, we don't want to be running out of water. Then we'll really be in trouble. We are starving, though. Maybe a couple more pieces of charred meat. But then that's it. Oh, I already made a couple pieces and more water. Nice, I forgot about that. Uh, 
Yeah, I'm going to save the rest of my meat until we can hopefully unlock some other recipe. Yeah. All right. Uh, we'll eat the uh, two pieces of charred meat I have right now. And then we'll drink some water. And uh, I still have a vitamin and a whole bunch of sham sandwiches. So that's an option. And uh, I got a bunch of vegetables, but... I was hoping to save those to possibly make seeds out of them so we can plant more and get more vegetables. Uh, in terms of tunneling, like I was talking about before, it's going to be a lot of work to get to one of these POIs. They're pretty far away. Um, I got my tunnel in here. It's not really a tunnel, this little cave here. Probably should do a little more work in here just to get some more stone and uh, possibly more clay soil. It looks like uh, we can get clay soil right here. Yeah, a little bit. And plant fiber. Oh, that's good. We can go up a little bit. We're not going to hit the surface anytime soon. Alright, I might do a little bit of work in here. We don't want to be tunneling from here, though, because this is like the opposite uh, direction of where we would want to be going. Well, anyway, I had a couple of other thoughts, too, that aren't that great. I don't think the zombies are going to respawn in here, even though I destroyed the land claim block, because I'm pretty sure you got to leave the area to get them to respawn. Same with the loot. Even though I have loot respawn set to 30 days, even if I had it set to three days, I don't think the loot would respawn unless I left the area and came back, which obviously we can't do, so... Yeah, not great. I'm going to go ahead and craft some more campfires, like I said, and, uh, oh, I hear zombies. And, uh, you know, I'm going to pretty much think about what the plan's going to be for tomorrow. Because other than trying to attract zombies to this location and harvesting resources, there's not much else we can do. But we'll see. I'll think about it. And we'll pick things up here on the morning of day five. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. And I hope you're looking forward to seeing more. Thank you so much for watching and all of the support. You guys are the best. You can follow me on Instagram or Twitter if you want. It's at Glock9Gamer. I follow all gamers back. Stick around for more Trapped Inside. And I will catch you guys in the next episode.